Hi friends, welcome back to my kitchen. We are going to make a breakfast casserole. We are doing breakfast for dinner tonight. We have a lot going on. We are working in the yard today and in the garden. And so this is just a quick, but delicious, hearty, easy meal for me to throw together. Let's get started. The first thing I wanna do is get everything chopped up that needs to be chopped up. This is my homegrown green pepper. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about it. I'm just going to use part of this. Ooh, there's some dark spots on here. small onion I'm just gonna do that because I have the scallions and I also have a bunch of chives for my garden so I'm just gonna use this small onion to saute all of these up a little bit. The scallions and the chives, I'm not going to saute them, so. I'm just going to set these aside separately. some chives for my garden. I planted garlic chives and regular chives. I'm not sure which is which anymore, so I don't know what I have here. But they're all good. They're all really good. While that is sauteing, I'm just going to divide up the hash browns into my two pans. so good. Also to this bowl I'm going to add the scallions and the chives. Next I'm going to cook up the sausage. I have a pound of sage. I don't know if it's breakfast sausage but whatever it is I'm using it because that's what I have. And I'm also going in with a pound of sweet Italian. Not much the sausage, but that's what I have and that's what I'm using. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that looks good. The big bowl that I have the sauteed peppers and the chives and the scallions in. I am just going to put this sauteed meat in there. And you can see the fat from the sausage. We are going to leave that in here. There's more hash browns in this pan, so I'm going to add a little bit more to this one. The next thing I need to do is grate up some cheese. I'm just adding all of the cheese into the bowl that we've got going here. It's supposed to be two eight ounce blocks, but I'm eyeballing it. I'm also adding in some pre-shredded Colby Jack. I'm not sure if I've added enough cheese or not. This is the last of the block of cheddar I was using, so I'm just putting it to good use. I don't know if I have too much cheese or not enough cheese, but we're going with it. So in this bowl here, we need to have the sausage, the onions, the eggs, the cheese, and we also need two cups of milk, which I have not added yet. So the last things I need to add to this are 15 eggs and two cups of milk. Before I forget, I need to add salt and pepper to the layer of hash browns. Now I'm going to add the eggs to all the ingredients that we've been gathering along the way. Two cups of milk. And we are just going to make sure this is nice and well combined. Like so, looking good. Looks beautiful. The 
last step is to top each one with a can of cream of mushroom soup and then we will bake it at 375 for about an hour. I'm just going to pop this in the freezer for a future dinner. I'm just going to pop this into the 375 degree oven for about one hour. And while it is cooking, I am going to make Granny's Green Beans. I will link that recipe along with everything that I talked about today with today's recipe down below in the description box. Here is our breakfast casserole, otherwise known as breakfast for dinner, out of the oven. And I am still working on reducing the green beans, but they will be there in no time and our dinner is about to be served. It smells so good. I just want to say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye friend.